<laughs> um, we went hooping yesterday. We did. We went hooping yesterday. Uh, it was fun. We're supposed to go tomorrow, too. Yeah, my body is sore as a motherfucker right now, too. Yeah, having a tweet groin does not feel good. That shit definitely. How did that happen? Just, just like because we were when, playing so much. Yeah, when we played the first two, it kind of it happened, but then I warmed up and it kind of went away. Mm. But then once we cooled down a little bit, and we sat down for that little stretch. Yeah. It, and when I tried to jump right back into the game without stretching or nothing, it, it 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 happened. I don't know if I've ever had a groin injury, like a strain groin, a yeah, bruise no. groin. I don't think I ever experienced that. So I, that just sounds like it hurts. Anything like that. So, so. That shit held LeBron out. It's, it's uncomfortable. 20, your, your 25 shit, plus so games, I think. No, it was tweaked. It wasn't pulled completely. If I would have kept playing, it probably would have pulled eventually. But you did the the treatment, right? You went to the sauna or whatever it was yeah. for a little bit. I've so, done Because we, we, we thought you like dipped and then dap nobody up. So how nothing. you how do you prevent this? Do you stretch? stretch? Yes. Y'all, y'all need to start stretching, bro. We yeah. are getting older. Start stretching before you, you work out and hoop and shit, bro. You'll yeah. feel so much better after. You didn't stretch? No, what did you Not eat a lot. before you came? I had a sausage egg and cheese croissant. <laughs> From no, no, it was at home. Oh. We had thought you you had stopped to get some food before you had came because you because oh, uh, no, your ass was late. No, you I, I, I had forgot to get gas, mm. so I had to get gas. Then I got water. So yeah, yeah, that's it was fun. We Not played yet. for like four hours straight. Yesterday it was very fun. It was it was extremely fun. But it, it, you know, the one thing, it shows that that combine shit that we did is more to it. I would definitely say. I would say so. I would definitely say. I wish I wish we could have recorded yesterday's games. I, de- I definitely wish we could have recorded yesterday's games and added that to our shit. Because I think this is the first podcast we're doing since the combine. Mm-hmm. Yes. The, since the video dropped, yeah. 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 Yep. So. Thursday. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed it. That was fun doing. Um, I do want to tell people though that visually my vertical looks worse than what it is because he made my shit high. Like a lot of people yeah. kept hitting me up, bro. I know I didn't hit a lot of flags. I think that's what they call it because he raised my shit up the highest for whatever reason. I think he really mm-hmm. thought I was gonna have a forty inch vertical. Yeah, that's what he said. He's <laughs> like, I expect you to jump higher. Mm-hmm. So. I don't know why he put it. It made, me, it made me look like I only hit like three right. flags. He had said that. He's like, it's going to look like he's not getting none. But all those flags that they hit, you already basically got those because yeah, yeah. it's so high up. All the only thing that matters is the, the actual number. It don't yeah. even matter what it looked like. Yeah. It's just the number that matters. No, for sure. But we mm-hmm. do a YouTube thing. So D-Mills, you made me part. mad, bro. Why he make you mad? In, that, in a combine? No, yesterday you? at the gym. Oh, I wanted to talk about the combine before we got to the gym, but let's get to the gym. No, part of that is the combine. Remember, we went to do the vert. What did the dude tell Derek? That he should be dunking. Yesterday, he stepped in the gym. He looked like he got a coach. He was doing his little hook shots, I guess, warming well, up. Well, that's the first thing to talk about with d He was warming up with his he hook shots. He pulled a Ben Simmons. I don't know if people saw, but Ben Simmons has like a workout routine where he takes shots that he don't shoot at all in the game. And oh, when you shoot those little floaters, and you yeah. did the same thing yesterday. You were over there working on a hook shot that I have never seen you shoot. He didn't ever. take that one that hook one time during any. I've of never games. seen him take a sh- that shot when we played together ever. Do you remember what we talked about? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like to take them just for fun. Oh, okay. Are you ever going to incorporate it to your actual game? No, I did in high school, but I stopped. I kind of just stopped doing them. Why? I don't know. Do you know, bro? You still the biggest dude on the court, like regardless if it's high school or not. I know. I Why just... did he blow you though? He blew me because the dude, like you just said, the dude said he should be dunking. He looked like he took a couple and shots. Then he was we, warming up. We measured our wingspan ourselves and found out he had a, what six ten. Six ten. So dude said you should span. be dunking. Yes. When he was going for those flags, when we was at the vert, he was cold, didn't warm up, didn't stretch or nothing. He just jumped and went to do it. We get to the gym. He got his shoes on. He looked like he ready. I said, Derek, try to dunk. He said, no. He said, I just don't want to. He was like, is you scared? No, I just don't want to try. That's what that was. That's what it is in my mind. He's scared that he's going to yeah. try. And that's why I tell Derek when we play. I don't I, I don't even look at him as like my competition when we play because I know his weakness. I know his weakness. Another I know his weakness that, too. It's fear. Is in that after that, 
we was we asked you. You said you didn't want to do it, but we was like, if we was in games and you somebody threw you a oop, you go get it, right? You was like, yeah. So we in the game, and I swear to God, I wish we filmed this part because it's probably the funniest. It? it was the funniest moment of the whole day. <laughs> Uh, me and Derek on a two on one fast break. I got ball and I see Derek. And Derek is fucking sp- y'all know Derek is fast as hell. Y'all saw in that video. He's very fast. When he wants size. to be. And he's he's running. And well, this I, is after I tweaked it. I uh, see see I didn't know this. Okay, so we're running. And I see Derek and it's one defender. And the defender cr- like comes up to me at first. And I was getting ready to throw Derek that lob. And then I looked over at him. He's like, no, nah, he's not about to jump to get that shit. <laughs> so I basically I had already stopped at like the free throw line. So yeah, instead of getting the layup, up. I pulled up for, for a fucking free <laughs> that throw line. That possession was so wild. It was bro. terrible. We That's why like I wish six we recorded shots. <laughs> Yeah, I wish we recorded it. Because after that, I missed the free throw line jumper, but I'm trying to hustle. I get the offensive rebound, put it back up, missed. And I try to tip it back in, missed. And I get it back. To, <laughs> then and then Terrence, Terrence got it. Terrence missed. got it and missed. Yeah. It was like 0 for 8 me on, the, Pier- on the, uh, Me and P are just like in the in, We're in, in the, the other backcourt back We're looking I'm thinking like yeah. We're gonna score And we just look back at each other Like damn yeah. man That's funny bro. <laughs> Hell no That gym low key be busted I didn't Like It was fun be some decent hoopers up there And it's like It's like a mixture of players Like it's Like fundamentally skilled Then you got the the muscle mm-hmm. I was telling them usually the like muscle. the muscle white. The dude. afternoons <laughs> like usually six is it be decent, but like better people over there. I yeah. want to turn into the hustle dude, but I don't want to hustle. This is what this is what Demio's blew me at. Because <laughs> as, as much credit and respect he just gave them hoopers that's in that gym, I walk in that motherfucker, and my 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 antennas are different. I guess. I, I walk in, I see some <laughs> some guys who do some nice things, but I he also... He said your ass got out-rebounded by a dude in Air Monarchs, Derek. That's what I'm saying. Like, I look at some Air motherfuckers, Monarchs. and I start looking at my chops. Is that blue shirt? That's the, that's the old homie. Oh, old homie. Old true. homie. He, gamed, he did game you. I knew oh. that shot was going in, too. But okay. I look at certain motherfuckers, I don't give a fuck what they doing in there. He can't fuck with me. This is an old guy yeah. who was wearing Air Monarchs. This is the old guy who just sits behind a three point line, don't want to move. I'm looking at them and I, oh, they that's cool. They can make a few threes, but them motherfuckers is not. I'm going right mm-hmm. at motherfuckers. Who we? I can't wait till we get on this court. The Mills, your mindset be. I don't know what the fuck your mindset be, but it don't be that unless, like Mike said, it's against us. Like we was talking in a party and we saw about like the dude you was guarding. He was on our team. He weak as hell. He was cool because he talked shit and had energy. But in reality, he was weak as fuck. But Mike was saying, like, man, if d is guarding me, he going to give his best. D- yeah. Mike said, next D-Mail, time you anytime watch you guard me, you be, trying to, you be trying to go hard, don't he you? He said, next time you watch d guard me, watch how hard and how great defense he plays because he wants to stop me. But when we play against other people, a stranger – he just, oh, what did he do? And that's a fact because in the combine video, I don't think we showed a lot of misses. But he, you had to guard him on his game-winning point a lot of the plays. Yeah, he was playing good he, defense. He ain't hit his game-winning shot until KB guarded him with that step back, with mm-hmm. that float. But that's right. But when we play against strangers. I feel like I played pretty good defense on him. We just told you. No, no, no. Oh, Actually, wait, which who we talking about? Which player? The light skin dude. The one with the mask on? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because he didn't really score most of the game. Scored a lot. Hey, we Damn. was talking about the Mills. You a defensive liability, bro. I know. I feel like that's already been known. But At you are too. Oh, I thought multiple, I was playing pretty good defense uh, yesterday. Multiple possessions in that game, you just left your man. It was, yeah, bro, it's time. No, wait, wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know. There's there definitely one. one, one yeah, but look, look. No, okay, so look. There was a few times me, where I was like guarding like two or three people on my side. Me and me, me and Pierre had like two of these like. Basically the same dudes. All they did is wanted to shoot. They were like the same height and everything like that. On the way back, bro, I think I had the wrong dude, and I was not paying. And I, to... I, I'm like, what the fuck is happening? I screamed that, and then Mike yeah. looked at me like, <laughs> <laughs> but no. I... But this is this is one thing I would say about both of y'all because you're right. In certain times, he could be a defensive liability. Mike is Mike has got a lot better on the rotations. We had a he couple had, plays defensively yeah. where it's a pick going on. We switch, and then Mike is over in the help, and he's got Pierre's got Pierre's got. So Mike is better. He's definitely more smart on the defensive side of the ball, is where he used to be for sure. I don't because I don't want to seem like we picking on D Mills, but <laughs> the difference between y'all two is yeah, Mike had a couple last la- laps or lapses. You are like 2K defense, where <laughs> you're not denying your guy, you're not guarding a shooter, 
you're in help, but you're not helping. Yeah. <laughs> no, that you definitely happens. You also have a yesterday. thing where you <laughs> don't want to run back on defense, which I guess is kind of expected with Derek D. Mills at this point. If you're playing with D. Mills. That's why he said we can't put you on a shooter because we don't know if we're going to keep there. track of him. Then can't. you're so fucking tired <laughs> <laughs> that your mind. And my dad used to always tell me that when I was younger, like, you got to fight ment- mental fatigue because when you get tired, that's when you can tell when a player's tired because they start to do stupid shit. Like, that's how niggas turn a ball over, throw it to the wrong teammate. Who does that? You only do it because you're tired. You're just so fucking mentally tired. But that's what you do. You get back on defense, and instead of just taking the nigga that's open, you'll be like, hey, who guy is that? <laughs> I got my guy. That's No, that's my guy. But it's just like, bro, if a nigga got the ball, it don't matter who fucking guy right, it is. Yeah, go yeah. guard him. Yeah. But no, you... Terrence, that's your man. Go get him, Terrence. No, D Mills, get your ass there. But you so tired, you just sit there. And long as I got my man, and that's when yeah, we start bro, to get I fucked up at you, when niggas have that. Long as I got when my we're man. We're walking or getting back up the court, especially walking up the court. That's his time to catch a little break, bro. Because we be like, come on, Derek, come set the screen, and post up. He walking up the damn court. He taking five, bro. You took like ten seconds to set a screen yesterday. Yeah, one time I asked him to set me a screen, and he looked at me. Like, oh, me? Like, I was asking Terrence. Like, Terrence ain't set me a screen all game. All that shit about D Mills had like five times where he looked damn near unstoppable. For sure. Dude, I, was, I don't I was, know if I you think it was more than five. Definitely glass. more than five. Bro, glass. It was, I, you know, the dude that was guarding the the white guy with like the red shirt, we was telling him he's a shoot, uh, shooter. Uh, when you had got that strong ass and one on him, dude was like, bro. Why the fuck I got to guard him? He like 300 pounds. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> they was blue as hell when you hit a three. And they were like, damn, I he can do this shit too. In yeah. certain plays, this nigga stopping at the three-point line. Why? Hitting the bottom of the rim. Why? Air ball in the oh, lane. Yeah, we got to pick, yeah. pick and roll. I'm diming you up. I'm giving you some of the best passes I had the whole day. How the fuck you miss a layup under the rim? Nigga, if you don't go up there and dunk that <laughs> fucking ball. Uh, no look pass. Hey, Dare, I love playing with you because when something when something like that happens, your reactions be so funny because you look at everybody to see our reactions to you doing that shit, <laughs> and then you just won't get back to it. That's that's what killed it. Yeah. You like you like your shoulders drop like you disappointed in yourself, and then you would just like walk up the court. It's just funny. <laughs> And I, yeah. we all had, I, I had moments when I'm gonna walk up, but your head, it's like you have, a bro. Break. I told nah, you, I was like, stop, there's a, a nigga. Also, I get myself a leeway with that because me and Mike handle the ball all the time. So like, I'm gonna get tired because as soon mm-hmm. as that motherfucker miss rebound, outlet, outlet, and I'm pushing this shit. We finna go. All you gotta do is post. We put you on the weakest niggas on defense. Bro, so you don't have to I, I don't know a damn motherfucker who can stop you if you just drop. I steps. don't know. Yeah, I don't. If know. If you just drop step somebody, I don't know who the hell is gonna stop you. They are gonna have to foul you every time. Mm-hmm. And then the last thing we'll say about D Mills negatively, Mike, if that pass ain't what that shit not right on the spot, perfect, hundred oh percent for him. He's probably bobbling. That shit going out of bounds. He's not getting it. You have to make every pay. You damn near have to hand Derek the ball. Because if that motherfucker ain't 99 accurate, if you put it right, right here to lead him into it, mm-mm. This is, can, what, this is what crazy. You could throw, <laughs> throw him the ball. It'll be in his area. He'll go like this. Like somebody <laughs> else going to touch it. It's going to go out of bounds. Like, go get the he ball. He had the little ass dude guard him, and I'm trying to feed him the, po- feed him the ball. And he's like, dude, get around. I'm like, Derek, what the fuck you do? He's like, he made a good defensive play. Yeah, because you didn't seal him. You three, you damn near 300 pounds. Well, the way he was three. playing me, he was, he was damn near standing out of bounds. I was going to be like, like damn near falling out of bounds, trying to box still him off. He would have had you falling right. out of bounds. How many times when Mike threw me the ball, because we did the play every time we checked it in, did a nigga take that ball from me? Yeah, but he wasn't guarding you like that. He was literally playing they you like that. Because he can't guard me that way because I'm arm barring him. You can't do shit right here, nigga. You're not going nowhere. Right here. Right here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Put your mic up still, though. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> you got to arm bar him. So once you arm bar him, whether it's your right, left arm, you throw the other hand up because he can't get around Bro, you. Bro, we need this. You're from stronger D- than me. This is what we need D Mills to learn. If they front of him in that post or are they trying to overplay him? Do the AD shit. Spin off the ass, D Mills. We gonna throw that lob. Nobody even gonna throw that lob. Nobody even fronts me. He don't even need to do that. that. That's all he need to know how to do. Because whether they front him, you do that to a nigga if they front you, and we now lead you back, and you just left hand layup or right hand. If they if you're if they're behind you, three quarter post, whatever you do. This is Derek's best friend if he just does it, but he likes to do mm-hmm. this. Yeah, I gotta put my mic down. Not giving me no pass radius or nothing, just like this. 
Yeah, nigga. So now that I throw it, your damn right dude is going to put his arm through now. I'm and bored. you know, it's already going to try to bounce off your hands. Then we had to tell you what is stand on the block. <laughs> Wait, like three minutes ago, you was like, this is the last thing. Yeah, it was his poster. <laughs> but other than that, I think I think his comp, slightly, I think it's more so Brooke Lopez. Mm-hmm. He hit the mid-range shot. I was proud of that mid-range shot. You hit the three. Was proud of that. That tied it up. Uh, I think we was down 10 12. He hit the three. The offensive glass. I have nothing to say there. I Bro, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. I'm a, especially because yesterday, I, I didn't shoot as well as I wanted to yesterday. I was shooting bogus. But, like, I can always go get those offense. We had a lot of offensive rebound gla- or tips and putbacks put off just yeah, like just hustle plays. We too big. Yeah. We too big. I don't, it's not a lot of teams walking into a LA fitness, an export that's going to have size, two, a six, matchup three, with yeah. me and Derek. So, but no, that was a, that was, a, but that's why I said that was my video pitch to them, y'all. So, so, so tell them if that's what y'all want to see, especially now after play on my boy. I'm telling you, I go home. Not that I'm some of, not that I'm Kobe Bryant or uh, not even Kobe, but but Tim Grover, Jordan trainer. But I go home and put together a personal workout for each three of my my co-hosts, and that's a video series right there of of going through some training sessions because I got some shit for you. He wanted to do that shit. It wouldn't even be no intense. Tra- I wouldn't try to make nobody throw up like do that fucking get fast. But I'm a, I'm gonna give you some shit that I bet if you put in your bag, it's real simple. I bet I bet you become same have to thing be with in him. The export gym, bro. Same thing with his ass. I got some shit for Mike that ain't crazy. I'm not I'm not trying to overhaul nobody. But bro, you telling me he can't he can't score on the dingus that was guarding him? He Yesterday I was well, off. Day. I was missing. But he he too good to say that he had an off day. Well, if you got but off even day, that, even when I do? had an off day, I was right. making all my layups. I was getting to the paint. We got to get you there. He said that he was like he the way he talks about himself an expert. You would think he's like the Jordan of expert. That's what all the comments said when I told them <laughs> we was going we had with the expert. They was like, I know Mike was killing because he's Michael Jordan the expert. But you too good of a player to you went scoreless one game when your, when your shot. I didn't go scoreless no games. No, yeah, the he, game he was, hit a two late. When you talking about the game Ontario Garden, yeah. I passed it out to the corner. He hit a two on that one. Oh okay, um, but that was that was it, right? He was thirsty. Yeah, I think but so. I was <laughs> like I for, I literally <laughs> forgot I hit I that mid range game winner because like, I was like, damn. damn, I don't even remember all the shots. Terrence I took. scored two that game. I scored two that game. We just needed our star player to do something. Bro, if I only just hit shit. a little bit more of my shots, we would have won all that game. Wait, what man. wait, what game was that? That was the game, game. Terrence hit that fucking floater from three pointer, uh, basically. And then <laughs> is that the game where he cut and I gave him that? Yeah. I love when he cut. Yeah. I love when he cut. He's too strong. He could just call a foul or make it. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> calling for screens from Terrence, bro. Fighting through a Terrence screen, that shit oh, hurt, bro. Yeah. That shit gonna make it. We were talking, should we play you? Do you want to be played out or do you want to play in? I like to do both. I just like to play freely. But this is where you're gonna have to you're gonna have to learn when to space the floor and when to go to man the ball. But we don't have the luxury of you playing free. You're not that type of nigga to play freely. You, you, you I'm just sorry. We all we all know when we play the five, when we play five, just like yesterday, it's gonna start with me and Mike. So you playing freely, you gotta you can't you can't be in somebody way. That's what I'm saying. So would you rather space out? Or be on that block how you was. Or I would like to be the one that's going around setting screens, doing that. Well, you don't have to be told to do that. But look, yeah, you're going to – but the thing is you're going to have to keep doing that shit. You can't just – when you're tired, you're going to do that shit all lazily. That's what I say. Your biggest thing is your stamina for me. You – it gets to a point the first five minutes in the game, you're going to be the damn number one draft pick, face of the franchise-looking dude. But after that, you're looking like a damn second-round pick. 